Our next guest has taken a TikTok to redesign some popular brand logos, and she's gotten a little bit of attention for it, about 100 million views. Take a look. I graduated college with a degree in design, and I redesigned some popular logos I think we can all agree are ugly. So here we go. Um, these are my redesigns. The first logo I chose to work on was Starbucks. I don't like anything about it. I hate this green color. I don't like this figure. I don't even know who that is. Maybe the president or something. The font is also just tacky and outdated. So I redesigned it with more of a happier feel. I wanted to maintain the integrity of the stars in the original logo because I truly think that's the only good thing about it. And then I chose this nice contemporary font that pulls it all together. The second contestant was H&R Block. I just hate the block. So now I, I put it in a circle instead. The last victim was Apple. I hate this logo. There's no symmetry going on. There's not even any words indicating which brand this is. You just have to guess, so I don't like that. This is my redesign of Apple's logo. I thought they needed a type that was fun and appealed to the youth like me and I enjoyed a lot. I also did start to miss the block from H&R Block, so I reincorporated it into this. All right, Emily, you're hilarious. Thank you. I mean, obviously, your character that you play is so dry and, and so deadpan that I think some people might mistake it for you being serious. Yes. But you started this as a joke. Yes. And are, are you an actual graphic designer? No. Um, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Um, graphic design is not my strong suit. I think we all can agree. Um, I went to school for animation, actually. Um, so I kind of thought it would be funny. Over, over time, I picked up some lingo from being in critiques and whatnot. Um, I thought it would be funny to kind of make it sound like I knew what I was talking about um, and pair it with awful logos um, on TikTok and kind of ruffle some feathers. But I'm actually a pet portrait artist now, and I do TikTok on the side. I saw some of it. They're really, really good, your Thank pet you. portraits. But wait, so what was the... What made you think about doing this for the first time? Um, I started doing satirical videos in um, April and just kind of, like, thought it was really fun. Um, what was the first one? Was it Starbucks? Oh, no. So, so my first satirical video I ever made, I lit a candle, but I lit it with a match, and I met... I lit the match with a lighter, and <laughs> people went crazy over it. So I was like, well, this gets a lot of engagement, so I kind of want to do stuff like this because it's fun. And so how much time do you spend when you see something like H&R Block or whatever? What, what's the process to change it? I kind of just try to take every beautiful little design <laughs> aspect and kind of flip it on its head. Um, so that's McDonald's. Yes, yeah, sometimes there are uh, spelling errors. They're sometimes intentional, sometimes they're non-intentional. McDonald's was not intentional, but I think it has a nice ring to it. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then some brands actually... Uh, <laughs> so, um, some brands actually have taken your logos and, and run with them. They, they're doing them. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been insane. Like, um, honestly, to, to, to be recognized when there are hundreds of millions of daily users by even, like, TikTok alone was yeah. insane. Um, when I saw the Burlington Coat Factory had commented on my video, they were like one of the first companies. So I was, my fiance's name is Asa. I was like, Asa, look, it's the Burlington Coat Factory. And so, well, you, you've done a bunch of new ones recently. Mm -hmm. And then you, uh, I think you've done a new one for us as well. So, that, yes. so we're going to see this. I haven't seen this yet. Oh, so we're going to show a few of these, and then we'll show, <laughs> we'll show ours, I guess. Okay. Let's see. This video is for Ellen DeGeneres. I'm a really good designer and I've been redesigning popular logos lately. I chose a few to show you today, so I hope you like them. The first logo I'm redoing is Gap. I feel a disconnect when I look at your logo and read the word Gap because there are no gaps. I know that Gap is a word on its own, but I'm pretty sure this is an acronym for something and I don't know what that something is. I added gaps in between the word than the letters. Now I can comfortably fit between the G and the A. And a good rule of thumb is to fit two of me in here. I fixed the acronym problem. To add some more color variety, I put one of these in. I don't know what that's called. Next I have Pepsi. There's nothing about it that makes me remember it and want to think about it later. So I added some new nice touches. <laughs> these are my parents. I love to think that Pepsi is the drink of all dads, but I do not want my mom to feel left out. 
So she's now in the logo as well. And lastly, Ellen, it's time to critique your logo. These letters are far too skinny for my liking. Blue is supposed to be a calm color, but you don't seem like a very calm person. I also don't know you, so you can be the judge of that. This is your brand new logo. In my opinion, these colors are going to pop in the lower corner of a TV screen. I also chose this font for your name because you look like you could be fast. So I hope you enjoy it, and I think I did great. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> done. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> Let's change all of our logos right away. Can we do it? Yeah. All right. That's beautiful. <laughs> all right. Yep. It's uh, it feels more like a <laughs> All right. People are going to want this merch. So what we're going to do is we're going to start making some merchandise. If you go to ellenshop.com, um, and 100% uh, of the profits will go to America's Food Fund. So you can buy these beautiful... <laughs> With your logo, and help a lot of people. I yeah. love that. Very, very yeah. funny. Thanks so much for being here, Emily. Yeah, thank you All right. so much. All uh, right. You're going to have some of the first products. Andy, do you have them? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> thank you, Andy. All right. Wow. Go to ellenshop.com to buy some of these beautiful products and help people. We'll be back.